I've already been on my feet for an hour dyeing my sister's hair, so let's just dive right into it. This is gonna be my May slash June book haul, basically all the books that I've gotten since I moved home from university. This will also be the first video on this channel. I am hopping on here from the blogosphere. I usually blog under the same name, Ink Inquisition, and I blog Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so you can check me out at the link down below if you think you'd be interested in that. For now, I've decided to revive the YouTube channel because I have some time over the summer and I really enjoy making these videos, so there will be at least one video up a week. Every Friday there will be something posted on this channel, and then if I have extra time to make other videos or some extreme reason to make an extra video it will be up some other day during the week so be sure to subscribe down below if you want to be notified when I'm posting and definitely hit me up on the blog because I'll be more active there any way you cut it I will also link my Instagram down below I don't use it super often but I'm hoping to revive it along with the YouTube channel since I will tend to post on it more for videos since there will be fewer videos than there are blog posts so it'll be easier to keep up with but today I'm just going to leap into all the books I have. There are 10 of them I want to talk about, and I'm just going to blast through them. The first two I'm going to show you are books that I bought even though I've already read them because I wanted to go ahead and reread them for one reason or another and I'm really happy to have these in my collection. The first of these is The Unexpected Everything by Morgan Matson. I read this first two years ago when it first came out but I bought, got it from the library and I haven't been able to reread it since obviously since I didn't own it and I was really interested in rereading it after posting my summer book recommendations on the blog which I will link specifically down below and it just reminded me how much I really enjoyed this book so I picked it up the next time I saw it out at the bookstore. This is a pretty typical contemporary book except for it's Morgan Matson, which always means it's gonna be so great and so much fun. I've enjoyed both of her books that I've read so far, this one and Since You've Been Gone. I love them both to pieces but I don't really want to talk that much about what this book is about because I think you'll enjoy it a lot if you just go into it knowing that it's going to be a contemporary that'll make your heart happy. The next book I got is A Study in Charlotte by Brittany Cavallero. This is a super incredible Sherlock Holmes retelling. It's more of a reimagining because it, we're not focused on Sherlock and Watson. We're focused on Charlotte and Jamie and they are descendants of the original Sherlock and Watson who go to a boarding school together and end up getting caught up in this web of mystery when a murder happens and it just happens to be a guy that they both weren't huge fans of. So they end up having to prove their innocence and I really loved this when I first read it. I actually read it right around the same time that I first read The Unexpected Everything from the library in that same haul and so I decided to go ahead and pick this one up as well because there are two more books out in the series as of yet. I'm not sure if there's going to be more but I keep seeing those everywhere and wanting to read them and then realizing that I don't remember everything that happened in this book so I definitely want to get to it again soon so I can go ahead and move on to the other two. Then I picked up what is probably the most recent release in this haul and I was so happy to see this at Costco because it was only $11 and that is The Burning Maze by Rick Riordan. I definitely need to get to this one soon. It is the third book in the Trials of Apollo series. I'm not going to talk about it much because I'm sure you've heard about it from literally everybody but I definitely need to get the, to this one along with Ship of the Dead this summer so stay tuned to hear more about them. Then I picked up one that I'm actually planning on reading this week because it is part of my Cramathon TBR and that is Of Fire and Stars by Audrey Coulter. So this is an own voices LGBTQ fantasy book and I am so here for it. I am so excited to read this. I really don't know that much about it except for that it's gay <laughs> and fantasy. So I'm really really excited to read this. I've never read anything like it before and I cannot wait to dive in. Then I have the book that I'm actually currently reading and that is Labyrinth Lost by Zoraida Cordova and I... I'm already loving this. I'm literally only like five pages in and I am so intrigued already. I know this has a lot of magic in it. I think it's also LGBTQ and I am so excited to finally read this. I've heard so much about it and I actually saw the author speak on a panel a couple years ago and was really intrigued then but I had already bought all my books for the day so I unfortunately couldn't pick it up but I am so excited to finally get to it. The rest of the books are all ones that I pretty much picked up on a whim because I found them for cheap at my local bookstore so I don't really know that much about any of them but I'm gonna try to tell you what I figured out from the back. 
The first one of these is The Flame in the Mist by Renee Adier, and I honestly picked this up because it's Renee Adier. I read The Wrath and the Dawn and loved it, but I unfortunately never got to The Rose and the Dagger because I never ended up picking it up, but I definitely want to get to that one along with this one. I just ended up picking this one up because I found it for cheap in paperback, and I know this is her new series, which I think is supposed to be really good, so I'm excited to read this one. Then we have my only non-fiction book of the haul, which is Born a Crime by Trevor Noah. This is obviously Trevor Noah's memoir. I didn't plan on ever reading this one but I saw it at the same bookstore and picked it up to read the first couple of pages and ended up really liking Trevor Noah's voice and enjoying the story he was telling. I've actually watched the documentary that this is based off of or that is based off of this. I'm not sure which one came first, but I have watched the documentary and really loved it. So I decided to go ahead and pick this one up and read it because it's pretty short and I feel like I could enjoy reading more of these like celebrity memoirs. This one is super hyped and I never got around to picking it up when it was originally out, but that's Uprooted by Naomi Novik. And I started listening to this off of Overdrive, which was my library's app. But I really hated the narrator in the audiobook. I couldn't tell if there was like something wrong with the file that I downloaded or if that's just the way it was. But it sounded like Siri was reading me the book and I just couldn't get behind it. So after about an hour, I stopped. But I was still definitely interested in the story and the plot. It was super, super intriguing. But I just couldn't do it with the audiobook, so I picked this one up as soon as I saw it for cheap. Then we have a mystery, which is The Leaving by Tara Altabrando. I honestly don't know much about this one. I picked it up on a whim to look at the back. The cover is super intriguing and I think it's about a bunch of missing children which has got me hooked already. So this is a bigger one though so I'm not sure if I'm gonna get to it sooner or later. Finally we have one that I know has gotten some mixed reviews but I've wanted to read it since it first came out and that is With Malice by Eileen Cook. I've heard a few different things about this and I think it's supposed to be a little bit We Were Liars-y which I didn't really enjoy. I enjoyed the original concept but I'm sure you know there's a huge twist at the end and I the twist honestly ruined the entire book for me. I was really enjoying it up until that point but that just kind of ruined it. So I'm really hoping this one is what I hoped We Were Liars was going to be. But those are all my books for May and June. I'm super excited about all of them as you can tell and I cannot wait to finally read and reread all of them. So that's all I have for you today. I post videos every Friday so I will see you next time. Bye!